Day 2 of the hackathon and I've made some pretty good progress, but what am I talking? I could literally show you the things that I made. Okay, let's do it. Uh, first of all, you remember this page. This page is the same, but there are some pretty cool changes. This now has Flask, has Tailwind, CSS. I connected with a Google Cloud, so we have Firebase, we can store data, we can do all this stuff, uh, but let's Let's see, let's go in detail, let's go in detail. So the first thing I made is uh, I connected this form uh, with uh, JavaScript and I'm sending this data to Flask and I have an API there that does some pretty cool stuff. I'll tell you, you'll see right now. This page has a button that all this button does, it clicks this new NFT function where the new NFT function collects all the data for the form and sends them uh, in the API and so some messages. Also created a small modal uh, window that pops up with messages like hey, it's happening, it's not happening. Uh, and what so let's try a little bit what happens um, when we put messages, when we fill up this text box. Also, I haven't done any checking, any error checking in the front end, in the JavaScript, because the most important thing is doing this in the back end, but I will also do it in the front end in a bit, meaning that if you put stuff here, you won't get a message like, hey, what are you doing? But you will get it from the bucket. But let's see, let's see. So let's give a, a title. This is the best event on the planet. Hello, you need to be here in this event. Huh. Also, uh, in this area, the drag and drop works, I hope. Ah, let's try. Ooh, it works. <laughs> Quantity. How many tickets we want? Uh, let's do a hundred tickets. Uh, hundreds, a hundred tickets. Duration, let's say 30 days and no price. And it asks my mail. Let's put my mail. So what will happen is when you press the button, all this data will be collected, will be sent to the backend and will get uh, a message like if this worked or not. If this worked, uh, I'm not going to tell you, you're going to see. So I'm publishing the event. Oh no! Oh no! Quantity needs to be a number. <laughs> Let's put a number. And we publish the event. One change is that when you click the publish event, I need to put a spinner telling you like something is happening. What is really happening is it stores the data to the database for now. We're going to send them to a smart contract the next phase, but also stores my email address, checks whether this email has been in the whitelist, invited uh, list, because I don't want anybody coming to the space and playing around, uh, at least at this moment. Uh, only some few beta testers. Let me know if you want to be a beta tester and help me break this thing. The other exciting and pretty crazy thing that does stores this image to the IPFS and also stores the metadata of the NFT, should be, in the IPFS. So literally, if we create a smart contract and give these IPFS uh, links, you're golden. So we are very close in creating, very, very, very close in creating NFTs without paying any gas fees, without needing a wallet. Maybe literally, like that's what I'm going to do uh, tomorrow. Um, another UI UX small detail is that when you publish an event, you'll get an email and you have to click the email to approve um, your NFT. I'm also working on that. I haven't, uh, haven't finished it. The idea is that it's going to be a password passwordless authentication. So whenever you want to log in, you click, you get an email, you click this link in the email and you log in. And that's how you also approve the NFTs. Again, the whole idea is that create NFTs as fast as possible with a minimum hassle and minimum friction. So if we go uh, to this address is where the metadata were automatically created and uploaded on IPFS uh, through Pinata. So you see, these are the metadata that are needed for any NFT. If you 
put this in an NFT, bam, you have it. You have a pretty awesome NFT. And it's the name, the description, and the image of the NFT stored again in the IPFS. Now, if we go to this address, you should be able to see this image that we uploaded. Fantastic, fantastic. I know, it's awesome, it's awesome. Tomorrow, subscribe in this channel, follow me on Twitter and all this stuff so you know exactly what's happening tomorrow. Smart contract is coming. You will be able to post, we will post an NFT ticket right from the same UI. So I will, it, it has more moving parts, but it's happening. And I want to work on the passwordless authentication. The moment these two things are in place, I start opening it up to you. So you can start playing out and see if there's any huge bug. There are more components that are missing. For example, I want you to be able to actually go and buy the tickets from somewhere. There's no page at this moment and, and a profile page where you can go and claim uh, the tickets because it's an email address. You need to claim it with your wallet and that's it. Fantastic. Uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.